Hi guys, Silver Gopher here, and I'm back with the second half of my look at the pile of coins that I picked up from Penny Haven that's been sitting on my desk for the last several weeks. And I've got uh, several pieces of silver here, a couple of bonus coins, a large bronze scent, which is a bit of a mystery. So let's take a closer look at these guys. First up, We've got a coin from the Netherland East Indies, or they're often referred to as the Dutch East Indies, from 1941. Now, this 0.72 silver coin was minted in Philadelphia. Uh, the East Indies were occupied by the Japanese during World War II, so their currency was, or the coins were minted in the U.S., both in Philly and in San Francisco, if I remember correctly. Here on the obverse, you've got the abbreviation Netherlands Indies at the top, the date 1941 at the bottom. In the center, you have a crown shield with a lion on it. And you have the denomination, a quarter uh, golden, one quarter G there in the center. And on either side of the date there on the left, you have a palm tree. And on the right is a P for Philadelphia. On the reverse here, you have there we go. You have a solar disk, and in Malay and Javanese, it says one quarter golden. Next up, we have three half crowns from Great Britain, two 1921s and a 1923. And these three are all the same design, so I'll show you what these look like real quick. And then I'll zoom in a little bit more. So as I mentioned, here on the obverse is George V. And around the coin it says, George V, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons. And here on the reverse, in the center you have a shield with the, the coat of arms of England, or Great Britain. Uh, in the four quadrants there, you have two that uh, have the three lions representing England. At the top right, you have the single lion representing Scotland. And in the bottom left, a harp representing Ireland. Now, around the outside rim, it says, uh, Defender of the Faith and Emperor of India. At the bottom, you've got the date, 1923. And on either side, the denomination, Half Crown. Now you can't quite make it out on here, but there's a ribbon between the coat of arms and the titles. And that says, shame on he who thinks evil of it. Now this is 0 .8, uh, 0 0.5 silver. And it's about the same size as a U.S. half dollar. And it weighs in at 14.14 grams. Now first up of the bonus coins that I got from Penny Haven is this 1926 sixpence from Great Britain. Here on the obverse you've got George V again and it says George V by the grace of God King of all the Britons. And then here on the reverse you have the lion on the crown. At the top it says Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India sixpence at the bottom and the date 1926 on either side of the crown and there are actually a couple of varieties of this coin depending on the uh, whether or not it's a wide rim or a narrow rim on this one this one looks like the more common one the narrow rim one now this guy is about the same size as a US dime. Again it's 0.5 silver and it's about 2.83 grams. Now finally got a bit of a mystery coin. Now this is a Canadian large cent. It was minted somewhere between 1902 and 1909 and it's got a bunch of counter stamps on it. Now it's a little dark, so I'm not sure how well you can see this. 
But you've got Edward the Seventh here in the center with his crown looking right. And around the coin it says Edward the Seventh by the grace of God, Emperor. And then Canada at the bottom. Here is the reverse, which should say one cent. And you can make out there's a 19 and probably an O there. And then surrounding it, you have the branch with all the maple leaves. Now this has a bunch of counter stamps on it. It's a circle within it. You've got a W. Now let's see if we can take a closer look at that. Now maybe you can see that stamp a little bit better. Now I did a little research, but I can't seem to find what that might be. It doesn't look like it's, you know, just a simple letter punch, because it wouldn't have that circle around it, you wouldn't think. It looks more like an emblem. Now, the only thing that I found that was close to that was this logo from Westinghouse, back between like 1920 and 1940. It was put on some of their electrical insulators, like this one here. So that's just a bit of a mystery there as to what's going on with this counter stamped coin. Now this is one of the large cents and these are about the same size as a US quarter and they kept these until I think it was oh, 1920 when they switched to the smaller size cent which is about the same size as the US penny. Now I want to thank Penny Haven for these cool coins and thank you guys for watching. And a quick reminder that if you want your subscription to stick, it looks like you need to leave a comment. Now, until next time, guys, take care.